Hello there folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome to a new MotoGP 19 video. Today it's time to start the historical challenges on the game. As you can see, they've included a lot of historical challenges this year. Going from the 500cc heroes, the dawn of MotoGP, the great rivalries and the modern era. So we're going to be starting right from the start with the 500cc heroes. And today we're going to be doing Rainey's last poll date. 22nd of August 1993 at the Brno circuit in the Czech Republic. So, I'll read out the scenario. Rekindled by the 20 points recovered from Kevin Schwantz Suzuki in Donington, Wayne Rainey turns up in Brno in August 93 to further shorten the gap from the 500 class leader. His Yamaha's tuning looks good right away, but it's Rainey's talent that makes a difference, as well as his strong relationship with the Czech track where he run the last two races. Rainey is in front of everyone on Friday and confirms himself in qualifying with a sensational 2.02.448 beating Schwantz's track record set three years before. So what we've got to do here is what we've got to do. Complete a lap in the shortest time possible. Don't fall, don't cause accidents and don't cut. So for bronze we need a 2.06.8. For a silver 2.04 dead and for a gold medal 2.03 uh, dead. So rewards, we get a sticker, we get uh, the Team Roberts team from 93 and also uh, the chance to play with Wayne Rainey later on. So the event rules, yep, yeah, oh, tyre wear is locked to be off interestingly and penalties are torrent. So let's get on with this. I think, uh, well, uh, this shouldn't take too long. So hopefully we can get a few scenarios potentially done today. Uh, I might only do the one in this video. If this is your first video of mine, I recommend subscribing for daily MotoGP19 content. Uh, I'm not sure whether this will come out before my career mode video today. Possibly, possibly not. But uh, if it does, then there will be a career mode video out later on, starting with the Red Bull Rookies Cup. But it's going to be quite tricky to do this. I haven't driven, uh, ridden even. Oh, I knew I'd make that sort of mistake sometime in the game. But uh, I haven't ridden round um, this track yet, Bruno. But as you can see, we are going to now. I'm just going to get the uh, traction control down a little bit. Give myself a little bit more of a challenge, but... That wasn't really the plan to be there. So we've got to set a time of a 2.03 dead or less. Look at those back tyres. Fantastic. Um, to get a gold medal. So let's do it. So here we are then around the first few corners. I tell you, for a 500cc two-stroke, these don't, don't half go. Oh, come around the first corner. That's probably not the best way to take it. It doesn't help either that I've just recorded my career mode episode and been riding uh, Rookie's Cup bikes. Fair to say, those are a little bit different to these. Look at how... Uh, we got the bike out there. But uh, what a brilliant bike this is to ride from 93. Of course, 26 years ago. Nice to see that a lot of historical challenges have been uh, put in the game this year. It seems going to be quite a lot. There's quite a few just in this category. In the uh, 500cc here. There's going to be a lot of fantastic ones to go through. Not sure whether I'm going to be able to cover them all. Uh, alongside other commitments on the channel. With the career mode and other content. But I'm going to try and do as many as I can. Uh, going through them. And provide a little bit of entertainment to you guys. But, oh, getting way out of line in that corner there. Way too late breaking in. Of course, I only got the game yesterday. So, just breaking myself in at the moment. Not going to be the best on the game. So, don't comment. Oh, you're terrible. Yeah, I might well be terrible. But, oh, well. We'll see how we get on. Can we get a gold medal the first time? Seems like we did quite decently in the first sector. Oh, dear. That's not the way we want to go. And we're off. So that means that our objective of don't fall, don't or cause accidents and don't cut hasn't been met. So let's start that one again. Oh dear. Ah oh well. I'm not particularly sure why the autopilot starts on the left hand side. It's a bit daft if I say so myself. But uh, much better into that corner this time. I quite like the handling on this game. I have to say this uh, new game. It really doesn't, uh, well it really punishes uh, breaking when you're turning, you know, if you've got down to such a speed and you're braking at the corners, you can lock the tyres quite easily and uh, just go straight off, which is quite a challenge to get used to, braking before the corners, and possibly why my braking zones that I've developed over the years are going to be changed a little bit, because you can, could get away in previous games with braking and not really going off uh, unless you make a massive mistake, whereas in this game, it punishes you massively for braking too uh, severely or at the wrong area. But this isn't a bad lap so far. Come around the first two corners. And the bike doesn't handle too badly either. It's a brilliant sound as well. So we are uh, red in the first sector, which does tend to suggest that we're doing better. Now, I don't know whether that's going to get to the bronze time, the silver time, the gold time. It could be just going red for the crack and, and getting our hopes of, even though we're absolutely mile off, a lot better into that corner. Getting a little bit uh, twitchy into the corner, but not too bad uh, nevertheless. 
Lovely bike this is to ride. I'm loving it. Right, round this uh, next corner is where we fell off. We probably took too much curb. So we're going to stay right away from that curb this time, if we can. Fairly close to it. I mean, you know, staying away from the curb when we've been within, what, 10 inches of it is, is taking the mick a little bit. But second intermediate is a 107.9. Let's see how we get on. Don't know about timings on this track, on this game. Absolutely no clue whether we're set to do a 203 or a 233, to be quite frank. I don't quite think that's... Uh, a matter slow <laughs> the the, uh, the speed we're going to quite be going. I think that's just a slight exaggeration. But let's see how we get on. We're entering the final area of the track. This is quite a tricky corner to get right. Oh, we're off again. Oh, it's disappointing. Let's just see uh, what our lap time is, just so we can gauge how we're looking for our third time and third attempt of doing this challenge. Of course, falling off maybe going to cost us uh, four, five seconds potentially. Uh, not really sure. Let's see how we get on anyway at the end of the lap. Every lap we're driving this, of course, is going to be more experience. Horizont, turn 13, and coming into turn 14, which is just very classically named, turn 14. How are we going to get on? So it's not going to be gold, it's not going to be silver, it's not going to be bronze, but it's not far off. So we get to do another lap. Yeah, falling off. Oh, that's not going to help at the first corner. So falling off probably costs us maybe about four seconds, so maybe we need uh, maybe another second around the two minutes. And uh, we look pretty in pretty good stead to do this challenge. I was going to say first time. That's that's just a lie. Uh, third time lucky. Just going around this corner. Not doing too badly here. Into turn three. See, I'm thinking maybe for these videos. Again, this is just stuff for... Oh, hello. There's some uh, historical challenges on the game. I think I might just do one challenge of a video. Uh, for those maybe watching wanting to, to do the challenges. Uh, and also to nicely categorise them. Uh, and maybe bring multiple of them out a day. Who knows? It depends what time I've got and uh, how I feel I can structure these. But uh, there's a lot of challenges. I can't really get all of them into one video. That'd be a bit ridiculous. And uh, ruining the fun a little bit, not spacing them out. But how are we going to get on in this second sector? A tenth off our personal time we were in that first sector. Let's see how we get on in this second one. But riding it very close to the curb again. Getting on the left-hand side of the track. That's crucial. And we're actually eight tenths off our best. That's a bit of a surprise. You know, in, in, in a track there, we wanted to improve on this lap. We certainly will improve with that uh, crash taken off us, but hopefully we can improve just generally in these last bits of the track. Just didn't want to fall off there, so we might well have uh, not used... Oh, I mean, we turned the traction control down, and straight away we felt the effects of that. Goodness me, really not taking much uh, risk into that corner, you could probably tell. Come around the last few, turn 12... Coming up this straight, can we get the power? We're 1.7 up in this sector, so... I mean, granted, the crash would have affected us up, up, up this straight as well, so... Not necessarily saying that we only lost two seconds in that crash. But it's not going to be a 203, I can tell you that much. It's going to be quite a bit to get this challenge done. Should get the bronze medal at least. Yeah, it's going to be the bronze medal at least. It's a 205.6. We've passed the challenge and we've got a bronze medal. So let's just try and play this once again. Let's just try one more time. If we can't win it, then we know we don't win it. But I'm not going to try this endless. It's just to get, to get gold on each one. At the end of the day, technically we've passed. Maybe not to the extent that we wanted to. But let's see if we can push like mad. I mean, you know, three... So, uh, well, it's two and a half seconds. Two and a half seconds to gain in a lap is pretty tough, I have to say. But let's see what, how we get on. A little bit less traction control. A little bit more speed at the corners. Managing that's going to be a little bit tough. But we're just going to have to see how we get on. So coming to this first corner, we need to get into that nice and quickly. That's a good entry, good line. Get the speed out of it. You can tell uh, by turning the traction control down just how much uh, we're having to just uh, be really careful on acceleration. No mistakes. And that would be ideal. Oh, careful, careful. How far are we up? Well, we're... Uh, we're faster than we have been. That could be by one thousandth of a second or a second, <laughs> to be honest. That there's really no gauge of how quick we can be here. Getting this corner right is paramount as well. It's always tricky because you don't want to break too much to fall off the bike, but then equally you need to get to the apex of the corner. So a little bit more into that corner would be a little bit better. But as I said, this will be our last attempt. Don't want to be here all day trying to get a gold. Technically we've passed, but I'd quite like to get a little bit more. Now that's not going to be the best line to take into there. Probably lost a lot of time into there, I would say. But we are red. We are faster. 
think this tracks control, using less of it, is going to help us as long as we can stay on the bike. Get it into there, into turn 10, the Kevin Schwantz corner. Now this is the tricky one that we mucked up last time. Well, the first time round rather. A little bit more speed took into there than last time. That will certainly help our lap time. But I don't think we're going to get a second improvement to be quite honest. Just power it up here, just hope for the best. A lot of this is just based on pure power now. A little bit of corner in these last two corners. But it's all about hitting the accelerator and hoping for the best. Here we go then, round the last corner. Oh, no! No! Oh! We genuinely got some hope there of getting a gold. I felt with ah, nine seconds to get around that corner. Right, I'm going to skip to the same point in the lap. Hopefully we can set something similar and let's see if we can get a gold. I know I said that was going to be the last time, but I feel like we've got the speed now. If we can hook up a lap similar to that and maybe concentrate without me talking, hopefully we can get a gold. Let's see how we get on. So we're at a similar point in the lap now. Admittedly, I, I've got something to confess. This is the second lap after that because uh, we did fall off on the last lap again. So that's a little bit of a confession there. But not a bad lap, not the best, but uh, certainly not a bad lap. But we're going to... I uh, I just turned the trash control up a, little, up a little bit for that corner because it was our jinx for corner. But hopefully we can get this one right this time. Come on, keep on the bike. we got a chance here. I don't think we're going to quite get gold, but we might get silver. Here we go. Come on, on to the start finish. How are we going to get on? No traction control. It's going to be tight. And it's a 2.03.5. Oh, and I'm going to take that. I'll take silver. I'll probably try and get uh, the gold in my own time. But that certainly wasn't bad. And we had to push quite hard there to get silver. So it took quite a bit to improve by another 5 tenths. But hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, tomorrow I'll probably bring another historical challenge to you guys. And if you did enjoy that, leave a like, comment down below. And subscribe for daily MotoGP19 content. But until then, thank you very much for watching. I have been TIJ Gaming. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye for now.